Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Assalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah min wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, the master of the universe, the cherisher, the nourisher, and the sustainer of the world. Peace and salutations be upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ar rajaw min hadaratikum istikhdam jahaz illa tarjuma lani maqdir la masjid lughatayn lughatayn la inglesia wala arabiya ma'abahat lau samahitum insha'Allah. So, well, ladies and gentlemen, and my, I respect all the, acknowledge the presence of dignitaries on the dais. And there are dignitaries and honorable guests sitting amongst the audience. And a wider audience who are watching this online and live. The whole world is looking at it. So, as part of uh, the organizing or the host, Jamia Marcus and Marcus Nolly City. We would like to thank you all. I can't say how happy we are. This is the third day. The days went by like that, you know. You were here day before yesterday, and many of us met for the first time. Now I feel that we are all one family, members of one family. This is our, this is our, uh, the unity of brotherhood coming from different parts of the world, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Syria, Egypt, from across the world, we are sitting together under the canopy, under the banner of one faith, and for a reason, for a cause that affects everybody, regardless of the faith, what faith, what you know, religion you belong to, what nationalities. So thanks for coming all the way from wherever you are. And as a person, by the way, you know, uh, I'm uh, the coordinator of this summit. Plus, I represent Australia. There are two Aussie blocks making a lot of noise. I've been there behind the, you know, <laughs> behind the screen there making a bit of a noise. And there is another brother sitting behind and, uh, you know, keep on translating. That's another Aussie. Brother Ahmed also, I really appreciate. You now you could be listening to his beautiful voice in Arabic. So climate action, a Marcus model. This city, and I have got the honorable, you know, chief executive officer of Marcus Knowledge City sitting next to me, Dr. Abdul Salam. So it's an honor to speak in front of him in his presence. Any city, if left unchecked, you know, cities emit huge volumes of greenhouse gases and contribute significantly to the depletion of uh, the, at, you know, atmosphere's protective layers. Cities, they cause trouble. During the, you know, inception, as well as when the city comes to life, city creates a lot of problems. We are well aware, and that's when, under the guidance of Sheikh Abu Bakr Ahmad, the Grand Mufti of India, we resorted to, you know, we prepared to build this city. Usually cities attract more movements, more noise, more death, more toxins, and more carbon, if left unchecked. Soon after their inception during, and during their construction, cities pollute the air, water, and soil. They emit huge volumes of greenhouse gases and contribute significantly for the damage of the surrounding. But with the wisdom and commitment, a genuine concern and uncompromising persistence, a city can act against the growing dangers posed by global warming and climate change. A thoughtful and responsible city, city governance can, governance can bring in policies to protect the earth and the resources. Studies, researchers, policies, practices done in the controlled cities can result in drastic changes. Such cities can enlighten, guide, support, 
the city, support the city dwellers, and even enforce environmental friendly lifestyle. They can mobilize resources and meaningfully engage people in order to mitigate the impact of climate change. So Marcus Knowledge City is committed to protect the priceless resources of nature at any cost. Most of you might have walked through the city by now. You have seen the city. See, we kept the resources intact as much as possible. We touched the land very, very less and started building our city. And we started doing whatever bit of things we are able to do, like rainwater harvesting. Every single drop that falls in this city, in this 120 acres of land, we are collecting them. We are harvesting them, channeling them to our land, you know, water bodies. And we have some beautiful natural springs. Some of you might have gone to our Tigris Valley Wellness Center. In the corner, you can see a huge dam. Believe me, that was a thin stream running very, very weak. The visionaries like Dr. Abdul Salam, they started working on that. We, you know, we built a check dam. Then we started collecting every bit of that water. Actually, the spring started in the city, and we checked the water inside the city. Once the huge dam, the reservoir got filled, that started flowing out, out to the paddy fields that belongs to us. That's where we grow our rice for the city dwellers. And through that, you know, because paddy fields need water, the land to be a little bit inundated during especially at the beginning of the sowing, the, you know, at the beginning. Then through paddy field, it goes all the way to the rivers. So water preservation, we have a model and people, representatives of the government and other organizations, they have started coming to study about how we were able to create a new reservoir of water, hundreds of thousands of gallons of water collected here. That's almost enough for the city, people who live in the city. Am I, am I right, doctor? Okay, then we started creating ponds. Right outside this uh, Valencia Galeria, our main venue, you can see two water bodies, the ponds. When we first moved in, there were small muddy puddles all murky water with a you know film of grease because we used to you know this this used to be a pineapple orchard we used to you know they used to plant pineapples here because of the pesticides and the fertilizer being used for the pineapple cultivation for long the water bodies got you know polluted contaminated we removed that contaminated water. We opened the natural sources of the water. Another aspect, I'm cutting it short, another beautiful aspect of this city is that we conserve the natural terrain. Construction process began without leveling the topography of the land. You can see the upheavals in the land maintained as it is. We didn't touch. So these are the care taken and the air quality is another aspect. One of the you know, leading scientists who visited the city a couple of months ago, he had this device to, you know, to measure the quality of water. Once he did, he got confused. Am I right? Sorry about that. So air quality is superb. So you are now sitting in one of the cleanest environment in spite of the constructions are still underway. And thanks for being our guests giving this chance to be here, our guests. Looking forward to meeting you all over again next time. Thank you so much.